Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I am back with this video in which I'll discuss very importantly regarding the future prospects of MD pathology and the earning potential. ठीक है तो मैं बहुत raw बात करने वाली हूँ इस वीडियो में ठीक है जो मेरे personal experiences हैं और जो मुझे senior लोगों से सुनने को मिला है एकदम raw और unfiltered video होने वाला है. I will be talking to you, taking into account the law of average. I will not tell you to become a district head, uh, a national head and things like that. Okay. First and foremost, I would like to tell you that if you want to open your own lab, okay, a lot of you may be in that fantasy that you people are young, you people have a lot of courage and excitement. So you may be in the fantasy that one day I'll open my own lab and, and it will shine like the lal path. But that is not the truth. I am not demotivating you. But please understand that you can take risk obviously life is a gamble you have to take the risk if you want please go ahead and open your own lab but please understand that if you don't have revenue if you don't have proper backup if you don't have money if you do not belong to a rich family you cannot do this if by chance your lab doesn't work you have invested so much Hana, but if it doesn't work out then what okay so just thinking about the lab factor please don't come to pathology because that is just one percent of it okay there are also other areas which i will be definitely telling you and if your lab works out by god's grace then only sky is the limit you don't have to think about your revenue at all you can just work in that lab and definitely sky is the limit here only i can tell you that what are the usual kind of work that is basically being done in the labs so labs are basically of two types you know in one in which you have got the histopathology and in the others in which you do not have the histopathology basically the labs which are a little bit big a little bit like corporate like labs which have got big names they usually do the histopathology because histopathology literally earns a lot of money okay so they are connected and they are having a networking with the other hospitals so after surgery the specimen comes to them and all so histopathology is there in the big labs and that is very important to understand but in maximum of the labs jo chota -mota labs hota hai na, maximum of the labs even if you open up your own lab also in maximum labs you do not have histopathology Okay, what do you have? You have got clinical pathology, urine, then semen analysis, then fluid testing and all of that. That will be there. Along with that, we have got cytopathology. Like you have got FNAC and you'll be having pap smear. Very important. Pap smear ke bina to koi lab hoi nahi. Pap smear is very important. Hai. Okay, iske alawa, you'll be having hematology. So the blood samples will be coming to you and you have to report that. Okay. So these are the basic things that you'll be getting. If the lab runs histopathology also, the specimens of small labs will not be that huge. The demand, the supply will not be that huge. But it's not easy, it's not easy, it's not easy, it's not easy. You should put a little bit of work on your mind, you should make a little bit of networking, or then you should learn a little bit of your work properly. In your residency now, don't think much about the future. I am telling you all these things so that you can decide whether you want this branch or not. Once you enter the branch, you should learn a little bit of it, that is your main goal. After that, life will give you the direction, you should go on it, your work will be done. In life, everything is unpredictable. You just look at my life. You know, I have stopped speaking about myself because I don't think that makes sense anymore. Because I can't tell you, दौर से गुजर रही हूँ इसलिए मैं कहना ही मैंने छोड़ दिया है ठीक है ओके ना बिफोर आई कम टू फेलोशिप और डीएम आई आल्सो वांट टू मेंशन दैट पैथोलॉजिस्ट वंस यू गो इनटू अ प्राइवेट लैब एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम और द अदर यू हैव द पोजीशन यू आर एलिजिबल टू बिकम द लैब डायरेक्टर एंड वंस यू बिकम दैट यू आर गोना यू नो अर्न अ होल्सम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी Okay, so these are some of the options which you can think or, or you know, which is there, but not for everybody. I think for some people, this will be uh, there, right? Next important thing, very important, I want to tell you uh, something about FRC path. Now, FRC path is a degree which people usually do because they want to add an extra degree to their full name. Right. This degree will help you to get into corporate sectors like proper labs, private labs, big labs. See, in me, kya hota hai? They, these people, you know, these big, big labs, they are going to take uh, pathologists who have got a little bit more experience than you, more degrees than you, more, you know, knowledge than you. Right. So, FRC path is one such degree which if you add to your, you know, name, name, name plate, then you get more, you know, benefit basically you get more recognition you have you know more strength to say that i want to work here you have got more degrees you have got more knowledge that means that you are more eligible for that post okay so you are kind of having a little higher advantage than the others who have just done md okay i just want to tell you that see md karne ke baad dnb exam de do 
ठीक है सो मेक योर डिग्री फुल एम डी डी एन बी पैथोलॉजी वेन एवर यूर गिविंग एन एम डी एग्जाम प्लीज डिरेक्टली गो एंड गिव द डी एन बी एग्जाम यू हैव गॉट टू डिग्रीज सो यू हैव एम डी डी एन बी पैथोलॉजी एंड नाउ यू हैव गॉट टू एड वन मोर डिग्री यू कैन एड वन मोर डिग्री विच इज योर एफ आर सी पैथ नाउ एफ आर सी पैथ को सिर्फ एक डिग्री एक एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्नामेंट के हिसाब से इस्तेमाल करो प्लीज डोंट बी इन दैट आइडिया की एफ आर सी पैथ करके मैं यू के चला जाऊँगा या मैं यू के चली जाऊँगी इसके बारे में मत सोचो क्यों मैं बता दूँ तुम्हें एफ आर सी पैथ हैज यू नो यू नो दैट देर इज टू एग्जाम्स पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू सो सी पार्ट वन इज अ रिलेटिवली इजी एग्जाम पार्ट वन पीपल डू क्रैक द एग्जाम दे डू गेट दैट यू नो सर्टिफिकेट एंड दैट डिग्री सो दैट्स गुड प्लीज उतना तक ही इसको करो इफ यू फील दैट यू ऑन अपेयर फॉर पार्ट टू एग्जाम पार्ट टू एग्जाम इज वेरी वेरी टफ एंड फॉर दैट यू हैव टू गो टू यू के सो कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड कितने ज्यादा रेवेन्यू की जरूरत है यू हैव टू गो टू यू के यू हैव टू यू नो बी देयर यू हैव टू स्टे देयर यू हैव टू अपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम अब एग्जाम दे आर वेरी फ्यू पीपल वेरी वेरी फ्यू पीपल हु क्रैक दिस एग्जाम एंड दैट टू आफ्टर क्रैकिंग ऑल्सो यू नॉट गोना गेट अ जॉब डायरेक्टली आफ्टर क्रैकिंग ऑल्सो दे आर लॉट ऑफ अदर स्टेप्स अदर प्रोसेस जिसपे तुमको सिर्फ पैसों का खेल है यहाँ पे ठीक है आई एम नॉट सी अगेन आई एम डेलिंग यू आई एम नॉट डी मोटिवेटिंग यू बट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट पीपल डू नॉट यूजअली टेक दिस रूट्स ओके सो एफ आर सी पैथ इज ओनली फॉर योर ऑर्नामेंटल डिग्री विच विल गिव यू एन एज ऑफ दी अदर्स बट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू सेटल इन द यू के इट्स अ वेरी वेरी हार्ड गेम सो प्ले दैट वेरी वेरी केयरफुली थिंक ट्वाइस थिंक थ्राइस बट आई फील द अदर रूट्स आर मच मोर ईजियर फॉर यू What are the other rules? As I mentioned, you have got fellowships and you have got DMs. Fellowship exams are there, and in good institutions, you have got good fellowships. Maybe one or two years you have to spend for that. There is no bond in any place, so you can very well do that, and you will be getting that extra degree. The more you specialize, na, the more you increase your chances of getting into proper labs. Not only labs, you are going to get more and more work from other places also. So you are doing in one lab, you are also getting work from other places. You will be doing freelancing. So the more you make yourself more knowledgeable and you are having more skills, it will definitely help you to build a better revenue but you have to work hard you have to keep doing this right so options kya kya ho sakta hai kai tarah ke ho sakte hai even you can also take fellowships from abroad if you take a fellowship from abroad and come to india definitely the good institute will recognize you okay there is no doubt about that because very few people do that so examples are like renal path hepatopath any 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 kinds of you know specialization you can fellowships on pathology are various are there neuropath genetics cytopath molecular tata medical center mein oncology jahan pe practice hote hai you can definitely get into those top institution there is no doubt about it but you have to be learning a lot tumhara approach soch rahe ho matlab just think you are just into that slides wala zone so you have to first see whether you like it or not then only you can move forward with this branch to any extent you want right okay much better option is a dm i will say dm is a very good option but again there's there are lot of difficulties here so dm mein kya ho sakta hai dm mein basically there are two, you know two two essentially two kinds of dm one is dm oncopathology and one is dm clinical hematology now please understand there are two kinds of exams neat ss and ini ss so from if you go by ini ss you can you are also eligible for dm neuropathology which is there only in nimhans okay in nimhans there is dm neuropathology which you can get by iniss not by neat ss then you have hematopathology it is not clinical hematology these are two different courses one is clinical hematology which i'll talk about later and one is hematopathology hematopathology tumhe milega sirf aims mein aur pgi mein theek hai seats are very less and that is again through iniss okay and then you have got oncopathology that is always there oncopathology is also there through neat ss right so these seats are limited ini ss ke through mein hum log jab jate hain those seats are limited obviously you know na neat pg mein kitne seats the ini ss mein kitna seats hota hai hamesha it is less na so here also the same thing ini ss mein seats are less and the uh, the specialties i've told you okay and in neat ss you have got two options one is your dm this is the most common option basically dm oncopathology is the most common dm that a student does after completing md pathology that is dm oncopathology second is going to be your dm clinical hematology now previously clinical hematology was being taken up by a lot of pathologists and this is a very very good field because this first of all makes you into a clinician converts you into a clinician because you are 
no more dealing only with slides now you're treating patients directly because you have now become a sub part of medicine because when you are gonna appear for this neat ss you are not only going to appear from pathology pathology ke saath saath md medicine wale people are also eligible md pediatrics wale people are also eligible so all of you are gonna sit for this exam and based on your rank you're gonna get or not that depends on your rank so you have to understand that nowadays i think in the past two three years the pattern has completely changed for neat ss for clinical hematology the pattern has completely changed now it is no more pathology which is being asked pathology is asked to a much lesser you no know, percentage maximum percentage now the entire paper has been converted into medicine so basically you have to read the entire of medicine to be to be able to crack this exam to get into clinical hematology right so that means pathology people or md pathology students are having much lesser opportunity right because you are you, you never read medicine all these years you are you are definitely more knowledgeable regarding pathology but now pathology se koi question nahi aa raha hai sabhi maximum questions are coming from medicine the paper has completely turned into medicine so now you have to take up separate courses you have to read the details of medicine to be able to compete in this particular field because it is a sub specialty of medicine that's why you have to read medicine and you have to crack you have to compete with them and you have to enter okay but i say it is quite possible because not every medicine people would want to take up hematology na they why would a person who has done md medicine would want to take up hematology they would be taking up other things there are a lot of other you know dm like gastro in you know endocrinology rheumatology neurology so they would want those hematology usually medicine people obviously they take it up but if the pathology student has worked hard and uh, you know have have a, have a lot of knowledge about medicine then that person can enter but the competition is going to be difficult because the subject is not yours you have to read medicine to be able to compete with those people okay this is a very big disadvantage and that's why nowadays people are really finding it hard to enter into clinical hematology but if you can enter very very good because you are going to get posted in the corporate sectors ओके लेकिन कितने सीट खाली है बिकॉज नाउ इट इज वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट ऑल द सीनियर पीपल दे हैव ऑलरेडी ऑक्यूपाइड द सीट्स इन द कॉर्पोरेट सो कितना तुम्हें वहाँ पे मिलेगा एक ही चांस में देर इज देर आर सम डाउट बट अगेन इफ यू डू क्लिनिकल हेमाटोलॉजी तुम ये सोचो कि तुम्हें गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स भी मिल जाएंगे देर आर लॉट ऑफ मेडिकल कॉलेजेस वेयर देर इज देर आर सेपरेट डिपार्टमेंट फॉर क्लिनिकल हेमाटोलॉजी तुम्हें वहाँ पे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर भी का पोस्ट भी मिल जाएगा सो दे आर द सैलरी इज मच मोर okay the salary is comparatively more so you have two options open now you are becoming a hematologist in a department in a medical college that is also an option open for you at the same time you can also your option is also open for corporate sectors and since you have md pathology you can even practice general pathology so you have two three options open right so that's why it's very good option but getting into it nowadays have become very very difficult because the pattern has changed initially it was very easy but now it is very very difficult so coming to the next dm which is dm on pathology yahan pe to full syllabus pathology ka hi hai so people maximally enter this this you know uh, you know specialty so dm on pathology is the most common so once you enter that it's again dm is again a course of 3 years with 3 years bond please don't forget this dm is also a 6 years course in my state i'm talking about in all the other state it is the bond will be same okay depending on your state the bond will be varying but it the bond is there for dm also the bond is there so 3 years ka dm and 3 years ka bond theek hai उसके बाद तुम्हें अच्छा यू नो यू यू गी प्लेस्ड इन 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 गुड प्लेसेस बिकॉज इफ यू आर स्पेशलाइजिंग इन समथिंग अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क विल कम टू यू नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम योर पर्टिकुलर प्लेस योर पर्टिकुलर लैब बट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम अदर लैब्स दे मे वॉन्ट योर ओपिनियन एंड देन यू बी सींग द स्लाइड्स एंड देन यू बी साइनिंग देयर रिपोर्ट्स एज वेल सो यू आर गॉन गेट सम अमाउंट ऑफ मोर वर्क कम्पेयर टू वन हु इज नॉट डन दिस स्पेशलाइजेशन ओके बट अगेन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द लोकेशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेर यू आर सेटलिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स विल बी वेरिंग फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्लेस एंड द टाइम okay so these are all the points i wanted to you know talk about the amount i already discussed it is anywhere between 1 you know 1 to 2 lakhs mein aise aaram se mil jayega and as i mentioned in the government if you get placed if you get a job in the medical college then as an assistant professor it is 1.2 to 1.5 as an associate professor it is 1.5 to 1.8 and if it is professor and hod it is more than 2 okay uske sath tum socho tum agar side mein lab kar rahe ho ek baar tum professor ban gaye uske sath tum side mein lab kar rahe ho to kitna tumhe paisa earn ho raha hai almost more than 2 Two point five, like right. So two point five to three will be your earning. Side me, if you are doing procedures, you can even earn more than three lakhs. राइट सो बट बट दट इज एट अ मच हायर एज क्योंकि प्रोफेसर बनने में टाइम लगेगा ठीक है बट योर इनकम विल वेरी एनी वेयर बिटवीन वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू पॉइंट फाइव ओके 
सो so, ऐसा नहीं है कि पैसा बिल्कुल भी नहीं है डेफिनेटली है बट थोड़ा बहुत देखो हर ब्रांच में ये प्रॉब्लम है सचुएशन का प्रॉब्लम हर ब्रांच में होता है ठीक है तो उसमें तुम कैसे अपना चीज को संभाल रहे हो अपना चीज को कैसे बिल्डअप कर रहे हो वो तुम्हारे ऊपर है एंड एज ए सेट अभी से इतना कुछ सोच के कोई फायदा है नहीं ठीक है अभी अच्छे से सीख लो अपना ब्रांच ठीक है उसके बाद देखो वॉट लाइफ थ्रोज एट यू ठंडे दिमाग से सोचो तुम्हें इस ब्रांच में आना है कि नहीं आना है प्लीज वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज एज वेल एंड थिंक अबाउट इट आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑल द पॉसिबल प्लेसेज वेर यू कैन गो रॉन्ग ओके स्टिल इफ आई लेफ्ट आउट देन प्लीज मैंशन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एनी स्पेशल एनी पर्टिकुलर क्वेरी यू हैव आई विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू एड्रेस दैट ओके एंड प्लीज ज्वाइन माई टेलीग्राम ग्रुप बिकॉज ऑल द अपडेट्स ऑल द वीडियोज एवरीथिंग आई यूजली पोस्टेड देयर ओके सो आई टेक यू लीव टूडे एंड आई मीट यू वेरी सोन इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल एंड टेक केयर कीप स्माइलिंग एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग